name is Lilith, and for today's video, we're going to make traditional English scones. Now with this recipe, you can pretty much add in any flavors you want. I'm just going to be making a plain scone today, and then telling you a little bit about how you can build on this recipe and make it savory or make it sweet. So I'm going to grab the ingredients, and we're going to get started. So, I've got my flour, sugar, baking soda, and baking powder in a large bowl. I've got one vegan egg replacer mixed up right here, and then I've got half a cup of vegan buttermilk. So all this is, is half a cup minus one tablespoon of non-dairy milk, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. I used ripple milk, it's a pea protein milk for this one, and it immediately thickened up when I added the lemon juice, which is nice. Um, most plant milks that I've worked with don't uh, f make buttermilk that quickly. Most plant milks I use don't really get thick like buttermilk should, and this one looks really nice. I'm excited to use it. First thing I'm going to do is whisk my dry ingredients together. Oh, and I forgot to say, I also have my butter in the fridge because it needs to stay cold. And you're going to want to turn your oven to 400 degrees. So, after I've whisked my dry ingredients together, I'm going to crumble in the butter. I'm going to crumble the butter with the flour to make it little chunks the size of peas. I'm just going to do it with my, do it with my fingertips so that the butter doesn't melt. We want to keep it nice and firm. So once the butter is cut in and your mixture is dry and crumbly, at this point you could add your flavors. Blueberries or maybe some vegan cheese and vegan bacon, like savory, you can add different flavors before you bring the dough completely together, which is what I'm going to do now. Now I'm going to add my vegan egg and my buttermilk. onto that surface. And press it into a large circle. Now I'm going to cut it into triangles. just slightly separate them. The last thing before I bake them, I'm going to take a little bit more of my buttermilk and brush the top of them. Now if these were going to be sweet scones, then I could sprinkle them with sugar. And if I wanted to make them savory scones, I might sprinkle a little bit of salt or other seasoning on top. But for right now, we're gonna stick with plain scones that can be served with butter or jam. Anything like that. Alright, I can't wait to show you what these look like when they come out of the oven. Okay, they just came out of the oven. Here's what they look like. So, remember when we turned them onto the pan, they were very crumbly and hard to keep together? Now they are nicely baked together. Ooh, I guess I'm going to 
let's try it now. Mmm. I just love the flavor of Miyoko's butter in pastries. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little easy recipe this week. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite flavor of scone is. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button, please. We're trying to grow this channel to 50 subscribers by the end of the year. And I'd love your help with that. I am the Vegan Rainbow. Bye, y'all.